welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and I am a 21 year old working and living in San Francisco. I work in social media. I do social media for a nonprofit based in San Francisco. It's really great and amazing work. But this video is what I eat in a week while working. I eat intuitively. I eat when I'm hungry, I stop when I'm full, if I'm craving something sweet or savory, I give it to myself, and that's just the way I function. So a lot of my meals kind of reflect that because sometimes I'll have pancakes for lunch instead of breakfast, or I'll have a more savory breakfast, and it's just, I just listen to my body and what it wants and what it needs, and that truly just works best for me as someone who has struggled with their relationship with food and I really believe that intuitive eating has healed my relationship with food so I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy all the yummy food and I am filming this in my parents room and my dad's napping right there <laughs> but yeah because it's the quietest here but let's get started <laughs> Happy Monday! So I want to start my morning off with a yummy breakfast sandwich. So I wanted to do a lox sandwich with some side of blueberries, an egg, and it was just delicious. So I air fried my English muffin because I don't have a toaster in my family's house. And then I sauteed the spinach, added the egg, and then added some vegan mozzarella. And then I topped it on top of the English muffin, added some lox, and then made it into a little sandwich and added a handful of bloobs on the side and it was so delicious. Snack time, I had some truffle popcorn and it's not my favorite, but I ate it anyway because I hate food waste. And then for lunch, I decided to have a protein smoothie with chocolate whey protein powder, half a banana, um, peanut butter, and almond milk, and spinach. Don't forget the spinach for your daily greens. So I made that, drank that all up, and then for dinner, I made myself a mini charcuterie board with some white cheddar, um, dill hervardi everything but the bagel <laughs> no it's not even trader joe's everything crackers and then a side of blueberries and then when my mom came home she brought home some shrimp dumplings so i had three of those started off my tuesday with a lovely 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 three mile hike it was just small but it was golden hour in the morning Watch the sunrise completely utterly so serene so beautiful but I was greeted with a parking ticket because I didn't curb my wheels uphill lovely 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 as for my breakfast on Tuesday morning I fried up two eggs look how beautiful they're bursting um, on the heat and then I mashed half of the avocado on two toasted English muffins, and there you go, beautiful avo English muffin toast. Then for a late lunch, I decided to make a buffalo ranch chopped salad from the Trader Joe's mix with an avocado, again, half an avocado, and it was delicious, the vine, so freaking good. And then after dinner, I didn't really Eat. that was my dinner um, I tried making s'mores cookies and it just turned out to be a disaster because I used store-bought store -bought cookie dough chocolate chips marshmallow on top but I cooked it for too long so then the marshmallows became this gelatin like disgusting thing but they tasted fine looked ugly I could not give it to my co-workers for our cookie swap after eating one of those cookies and crying myself to sleep, um, just kidding, I had some of this Ben and Jerry's Netflix and chilled ice cream and it's the best, it's so freaking good, and I had a few bites of that. Hump day! <laughs> On Wednesday, you already know what's going down, I'm making my typical egg scramble with vegan sausage, vegan mozzarella, spinach, and two eggs, and I always cut 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 up my sausage like a guy did me wrong 
because that's how you're supposed to do it, ladies. And then I scramble that up first, add the spinach, add the eggs, and then lastly, add the vegan mozzarella. And then I eat that up. I add some hot chili oil, and it is divine. I use that word a lot. It was lovely. It was spectacular. As a snacky doodah, I had half of that cookie from yesterday. It looks like shit. And then I had a cutie because vitamin C. And here's me eating the cookie to prove that I do eat the cookie. I do nourish myself with the sweets as well. And for a late lunch, I had the other half of the buffalo ranch chopped salad. No avocado this time, sadly. But it's okay. It still tasted bomb. And then I had more snacky doodahs and I had the white truffle popcorn. After work, I decided to jump rope. So I jumped rope for 30 minutes. I don't continuously go, I take breaks. And then after jump roping, I did some glute band workouts because I'm trying to grow that booty. 2021, I'm about to have a fat badonk donk um and yeah <laughs> after breakdown um i'm gonna admit it, i had a cry session in my car my cousin came over and we made guacamole and then we also made another batch of cookies and i had some of these tortilla chips that were shaped like christmas trees and we had some chips and guac and i felt better <laughs> Thursday I was doing social media coverage at my work site all day and I picked up my cookies from the cookie swap and I had a cookie and I didn't eat anything all day and when I got home around 6 I finally had my first meal which was a big piece of salmon, rice, and so many veggies and they were so freaking good and on a similar note I was still hungry because I didn't eat all day so I had these hold everything but the cone um, corn things from Trader Joe's and they were really good. I air fried them and perfection. Friday fun day. My work gave us a $25 voucher to DoorDash. So I ordered myself some pokey and then we hopped on a holiday Zoom call where Miss Santa Claus made her appearance and I had half of my poke bowl for lunch and then I went on a lovely sunset walk with my best friend Ashlyn and it just looks so immaculate the sunset and I ate my other half of the bowl when I got back home and then I did a little cookie review so cut the clip interrupting this what I eat in a week to show you guys all the cookies I got from my company's cookie swap and yes I'm so festive I'm wearing a onesie but we all did cookie swaps and I made brown butter cookies I have two left but they're for my best friend Ashlyn but these are all the cookies I got <laughs> there's so many Literally so many. So I'm gonna do a cookie review on each. Starting with this one. This one I believe are Mexican holiday cookies or something. That's what um, my coworker said. More of so my boss, one of my bosses. Um, so nicely packaged. I literally gave people their cookies in Ziploc bags. Okay. Look at this, it's so cute, okay. Taste test. Oh. They're hard. Mmm. I totally thought these were mochis at first when I first saw them. Mmm. Papa, you try it, I'm gonna make my dad try it. Well, Jordan, you wish you won. Sure. Yeah, try it. <laughs> no, wait. Wow. Yeah. Good? Good. <laughs> okay. Mm. That one was good. 
Pots and wait though. Good? Okay. <laughs> he likes it. This is the second one. Such cute packaging. Oh, mail. Well, that's the worker. Oh, <laughs> hell. These are red velvet crinkle cookies and they're plant based. Oh, <laughs> my dad likes them. And they're plant based. So let me try them. He really likes them. These are plant based. She said that these were gross when she handed them to me, but they taste good. Mmm. Mmm. These are by my coworker Lauren. And they're seven layer cookies. I don't know if that's a Jewish thing, but she's Jewish. She, she said something about it. Wow. This looks decadent. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Mmm. Mmm. These are really good. It tastes like Samoa's. Mmm. Okay. Fourth one. These are by my coworker Thelma. Oh, by the way, these are by my coworker Lori. These are good. Um, she's the graphic designer. Awesome girl. Ooh. Oh my god, these are huge. What? What? Mmm. Mmm. These are so good. Big daddy bite. Mmm. Mmm. Great. Last one. These are by my coworker. Dry Diana. Right. Jorena. Jorena. I can't pronounce anything. Nice blonde lady. Very sweet. Dream Jorena. I literally can't pronounce anything. I haven't met any of these people till now. Oh wow. These are so oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get this is so cute. Wow. I'm definitely gonna try this one because it's the cutest to me oh my god so cute mm, these are so professional but that's all for the cookie review <laughs> and that was everything i ate this week i know i've been lacking on working out but that's completely fine i'm just nourishing my body with what it needs and i'm happy about it Hi everyone, sorry for the poor quality and how I look right now. It is 12 a.m. on December 31st and I just want to pop in here before I end the video and say how thankful I am for each and every one of you, whether you're just a viewer, subscriber, if you don't even like my videos and you're watching, thank you because this year has brought so much hardship and tragedy and just flipping people's worlds upside down and within this weird mix of things of 2020 this youtube channel has brought me so much happiness and growth and i'm just so grateful for each and every one of you and i'm so thankful for everybody who has been such a supportive viewer or commenter or subscriber to me because literally december 31st of 2019 my goal for 2020 was to get 500 subscribers. I literally have the note right here. My goal was to have 500 subscribers and now I have over a thousand five hundred ninety of you guys and I am beyond grateful. I am so happy that people enjoy watching my what I eat in a week, what I eat in a day, what I eat in a weekend videos and just me promoting intuitive eating and healthy relationships with food because during this time right now it's taken a strain on so many of us me included and i have struggled with food my whole life literally my whole life since i was like seven or eight being called fat by my family members or just classmates and 
that has really damaged my relationship with food and I am still healing from it and I'm still building a positive relationship with my food and oh my god I'm, I could cry about this um and I don't cry often but um I'm just so glad that I could share what I eat whether you like it or not with my viewers and my community here on YouTube and if it helps one person out then I am just so happy because it has taken me so many years to just be kind to my body and not speak negatively of it although I do have my bad days um, I just remind myself that we're all in a healing position in our lives. Oh my god, Casey, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you and I hope that 2021 brings you guys all so much love and positivity and happiness and that we could continue to grow and heal our relationships with food. So thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. So yeah, bye. <laughs>